We believe in the um, value of financial advice. Most consumers out there um, are not or do not consider themselves to be financial experts. And when they come to buying financial products, they can really benefit from working with a financial advisor. So our view has always been: let's um, sell our product or take our products to market via the financial advisor rather than in a direct-to-consumer manner. Um, and the direct-to-consumer manner would really would normally um, necess necessitate significant amounts of money being spent above the line, we would rather pay that money to the brokers in terms of commission and ensure that the client ends up getting the best advice as regards to the financial products that they're buying. You know, I mean, Discovery, I think, has always been an innovative company. Right from the beginning, when Adrian broke away uh, from the company he was at to start up Discovery Health, with the view to doing something completely different in the market, we provided the end customer with a lot more value than they were getting from their existing medical aids, giving them more power to, to, to look after and control their own day-to-day -day medical expenditure, and also something that was based on a sustainable business model, um, which in actual fact at that time, a number of the medical schemes that were in the market were really battling financially and I mean Adrian's view was to create a medical scheme that worked. A lot of the marketing strategy actually emanates directly out of the business strategy which is really go out there and see if you can change the world, do something different, disrupt the market, um, you know don't just come into a market with exactly what everybody else has got, go into the market with something different which actually is a superior value proposition to the end user. The word positioning is a word which is used every day at Discovery. So every single message that we take to market, the, very, the most important thing about the message is how do we actually position that message so that it links back to all the other logical steps and building blocks that we've put in place for the Discovery brand and for the sub-brands that operate underneath it. So we, we really do sweat the detail in terms of how we position our messaging. Uh, we try to be as concise as possible, as clear as possible, as single-minded as possible, as simple as possible without being simplistic but try and ensure that we, we, we continue to, to develop a, a very consistent tone of voice and personality because people don't like inconsistent people and they don't like inconsistent brands. You know, I've been with Discovery now for four years. It's an amazing environment. It really is a large corporation which still holds on um, like a bull terrier to its entrepreneurial spirit that gave its, uh, its, it, the company its birth uh, 21, 22 years ago. And somehow they've managed to maintain that the, the innovative nature of entrepreneurialism within the organization uh, Decision-making trees are very flat, so decisions are made quickly and intelligently and are applied um, creatively and brilliantly. So it's a wonderful place to work. Um, it is, I never thought I'd be um, hugely excited about financial services, but I've ended up in, in an area and in a company where I am hugely passionate about what we do and um, just love the, the, the sense of, of growth and innovation and um, the desire to change the world, which really sort of sits at the, at the heart of the Discovery brand. Thank you.